Stop struggling, make Astroneer's traversal easier. Hey Games for Life here and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that. We are on Glacier right now and as you can see it's really hard to traverse, by foot and even by rover. So today I'm gonna show you how to make it easier on yourself to traverse not only Glacier but any planet. And we're gonna do that by building an intricate rail system, which will reach multiple points of interest on Glacier. But first let me show you just how bad it is we're driving on a road right now, but as soon as we get out of the road it starts being bad. So the traversal on this planet is not that good, even with a rover. It tends to get stuck in a lot of places, and most of the time you can't even go wherever you want. Like this for example, now we are completely stuck here. So the only thing we can do is getting out of the rover and building some kind of ramp for it. And these plants are really trying to kill us. So you need to get out, build some kind of ramp, then get back into the rover and then drive on which is really not efficient, especially for large-scale hauls of resources. But, as you can see, we've got some roads over here. So how did we do that? Using the road-building rover. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this is what I mean, this is the road-building rover. It's got a paver and a drill mod 3 on it, which means we can dig and build roads. Like this, for example. So we can go higher or lower, but this has tons of disadvantages. First thing you notice, we've got less space on the rover because these things take up the whole front of it. Then, we also need to have soil on hand, which again, takes up even more space from the rover. And on top of all that, it also moves so much slower while using these mods. You can see when I turn them off, it's much faster. So using such a road building rover, it's a fix, but just a temporary one. Now, we're trying to find a permanent solution to fix our traversal problems in Estronir once and for all. And that's where trains come into play. I've previously built some train system back on Kelidor, but those were right as the update came out. Now we've got more possibilities and more knowledge about it. So without any further ado, let's start building it. So, first things first, we'll need a train station. or a rail station, excuse me. This is really easy to craft, all you need is quartz, copper and titanium. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get out of the way now. And then we'll need rail posts. So we've got rail post bundles, tall rail post bundles, and we've also got rail junction bundles. The rail post and the tall rail post bundles both cost one aluminum and one resin, and the rail junction bundle costs two aluminum. It might seem like we need a ton of resources, but in fact, each one of these bundles holds multiple rails. You'll see what I mean in a second. So now let's craft some. We've got some aluminum and resin over here, so I'll enable output on both of these, and then I'll set this on repeat. I'll also place this over here. This one too. And this one. Great. So we'll get some of these. I'm crafting normal rail post bundles right now, but we'll craft tall ones as well. Let's stop this. Alright, so we've got normal ones. Now let's craft some tall ones. There we go. And in the meantime, the rail station should finish crafting as well. We won't really need any junctions for this video, but in future videos, we're definitely gonna do that when we expand the whole system. Alright, so we've got normal rail post bundles and tall ones. I'll get these on the rover. Oh, and this just finished crafting. Great. So let me first get this on the rover. So we will need a rover as we build the beginning of our train system, but after that it's done with them. No more rovers on Glacio, all we're gonna use are trains, and we're gonna build railways to go everywhere on the planet. Maybe even a railway all around Glacio. That would be really cool. Okay, now let's find a spot to place this. And I mean, do we really need a rover for this? I'm not sure, but we'll see. Let's find a good spot for it. Something like this could work, what do you think? Yeah, I think this is good. Maybe right here. Let's unpack it. Maybe turn it around, like that. We'll also need to fit some power into it, so we'll probably need extenders, yeah. Great, so there we go, we've got power going into it. And now, I don't really think we're gonna need the rover while we're right next to the base. I'm just gonna take some of these on my backpack. So we'll get some normal ones. And some tall ones as well. Oops. I can throw the extenders right here. So 
so we've got the normal and tall ones, great. Now we can start building our railway. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it, we also need a train for it, right? So we've got the rail engine, for which we only need copper, aluminum and resin, that's really easy. And then we've got rail cars, which need aluminum and two resin. This means we can also make longer trains and we can fit each and every one of the rail cars with a large storage or even other types of storages so we can fit tons of stuff onto a train. And it's also pretty fast, you're gonna see here in a minute. But for now, let's just start building our railway. And this poor body over here, let's bury it. We're always gonna remember your body. All right, that was a bit morbid. Let's get over it. Now let's see, I'll get some rail posts, normal ones. I'll put them up here on my backpack, just like that. And now we can unbundle it pretty easy. So you can see this is how you place it. When it gets blue, it's at max extension. And then if it's red, you can't place it anymore. You see, it's like tethers, something like that. Now, if you place it in the blue or in the white, for that matter, it's gonna build the rail. We can also rotate it and everything. But let's see, do we want to go this way first? Yeah, I think so. So I'll put this over here and it builds the rail just like that. Now we can use it, and this has multiple utilities. Of course, we can drive a train on it, but it also conducts both power and oxygen, so it substitutes tethers as well. So it's really just a great all-in-one application. So here we go, place another one, and we can just go on like that. We've got oxygen, we've got power, because they bring it with them. So all you really need is the rail post bundles in your backpack and one of these bundles I think has 10 of them so for one resin and one aluminum you can get 10 of them that's a really great deal now let me get a tall one out here and maybe move this back a little we won't be using this road anymore because we've got a train but just for the sake of it let's make the train go over it you know what I mean so we can easily just do that place another one right here maybe make it a little bit curvy yeah, that looks a little bit better, like that. So if you wanted to, you could have a whole city with trains going over your road using these tall posts. Okay, I'm gonna keep using the tall ones for now. And actually, let's make it turn around the other way and let's head towards that mountain over there. We'll get to the top of it. <music> This is a little bit steeper, but we can get up there no problem, just like that. And we're up here now. I'll switch back to the normal ones, not the tall ones, and let's keep moving. And we can see our base from here, actually. Look, there's the start of our railway, and it came all the way around here. Now we're on top of this mountain ridge or whatever it is, and we can make it go right on the edge here. Let's see, maybe even a little bit over the edge, just like that. And you could see right here it also modulates terrain when you place it, which makes it even easier to use. I've also previously built a roller coaster on Kalidor, and we're probably gonna do one here on Glacio as well. That's gonna be really fun. Okay, now let's turn it back around the other way. system is completed. If you paid attention during the time lapse, you might have seen quite a few nice views that the train will be passing by. But if you haven't, don't worry, we're gonna take a ride in a moment. 
Now all we need is a train. We won't build any real cars right now. We're gonna explore the functionality of the train later. Now I'm only gonna build a rail engine so I can show you the whole scenery and everything. So we need copper, aluminum and resin. Let me just get those. So here you go, I've got a rail engine right here. Let's unpack it. And now we can place it on the rail. You can see this draws three use of power while active. But you don't actually need to put any power producing item on it because it takes power directly from the rail. All you need is to have a station connected to your base and that's it. If you want to, you can store something on the side of this, just like that. You can put lights on there if you're going through caves or whatever you want. The train station also has a storing space, so you can place stuff just like that over there. We won't do that right now. And you can see there's a thing here called train length and it says one out of six. That means we can attach five other rail cars to it and have a long train, which means tons and tons of storage spaces. Now it also says status idle. That's because from the train station, if you examine it, you can make it stop train cars coming in. So these are the options. I'm just gonna set it to stop disabled for now. And from this button, you can also call the car. So for example, if you've left it somewhere and you came back on foot or using something else, you can just come to your train station, press this, and it will come back by itself. See that? So you'll never lose it and it will always be there for you whenever you need it. Let's also craft a trumpet horn for our train. Let's throw it on there. And we can use it with the C and V keys just like you would have it in your backpack. Actually, let's build another one. So we have two of them. There we go, now we've got two. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm debating, should I go without all of those attached or with them? Let's go without them first and then we'll attach all of them and see what happens. So let's start the tour. There we go. That's more like it. So here we go over the road. Then we can see the other rail coming back to the base. Here we climb this mountain. A little bit sideways action. And we go over the edge on this side, just a little bit. Wow, the sky is really beautiful now, and the clouds as well. Just look at that view. Look at that view over there. This is beautiful. Now we go down. And we'll go through this rocky terrain. Just imagine trying to traverse this by rover or by foot for that matter. It would be impossible. Alright, now we head into the hot area down here. We've got tons of vegetation. Some gazers going on. Let's use the trumpets a bit. I like this, I really like this. Oops, went through the gazer there. But it's okay, you can take any damage while in the train. Now we go over another road. And another one. And we can see the base from here. We're really close to it. We go down over on this side and then back up. So now we're going around the base. And we're gonna end up on the other side. Go down over here, over another road, and then we come through the back and we reach the train station again. So that would be a tour of it. We can also move backwards, and I think it's the same speed. So the train is really fast, that's one of its core benefits. Now let's attach this rail cars. I'll get them unpacked. And we can just throw them like so. Oops. Now we can attach the rest of them. And one more. Now we've reached the max length. So we can have one engine and five cars behind it for a total of six. And then we can attach tons of stuff to these ones as well. 
like that for example let's put one of these over here maybe let's take some gases with us sure why not just to get it filled up so you can see just how much this can carry you can actually build a moving base using these trains we've got a smelter so a centrifuge everything we need so if we went farming for resources with this we would have a smelter right there to smelt all of the things we get maybe from caves or wherever we find them. Maybe we can have some research chambers and as we move forward we just find research items and research them on the go. Stuff like that, you know. Now, I'm planning on building another system bigger than this one and then having some junctions between them. So you can have junctions and you can change using the A and D keys or if you're using a controller, just the direction joysticks. You can change which way we'll go, left or right. On the go, so you don't need to get out of the train to do that. So we'll build another system and we're gonna have junctions in between them. Maybe they pass over one another a couple times, stuff like that. Then I also want to build a roller coaster here on Glacio because we've got tons of mountains and really nice scenery. So I feel like that would be worth it. I'm also planning on building a cave train system which would start right next to our base and then would go into the caves couple levels down maybe even down to the core who knows so i'm gonna have all of those videos i'm gonna film them all you guys just need to tell me if you like them because if you don't then i'll just stop i don't want to bore you guys all right so if you like these videos then please let me know down in the comments below all right and i'm gonna add all of those if you like them of course into the playlist where this one is right now so i'll just add all of them to the playlist so you can go ahead, save it right now, and you can watch all of the videos later. That's all for today, guys. I've been Games for Life, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Estroniers!